happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel, everyone. Please be sure to go ahead and hit the thumbs up. It's Juni at 615, and I am back with another edition of Feed Your Addiction. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. I do hope that if you enjoy tonight's live stream, you will stick around, watch some more content, hit the thumbs up, and consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, a tribe sister, tried and true, thank you so very much for coming back and spending some of your Sunday with me. I do not take your support for granted. So here's where I'd like to start this week. It's kind of where um, I've, I've done two videos now and I've gotten a lot of comments from people on um the demo of my Florentine getting wet. So I've been traveling with my Florentine Tulip Chopper in red. Last week, I actually planned to move out of it, but it was such a good carry. I hate to even say that out loud, uh, but it was such a good carry that I did not move out of it. I carried it for another week. And um, I'll go through the reasons that I carried it for another week. Um, so the first is I was already moved into it. Second is I feel like the shoulder drop is improving. Three, um, it, it is starting to develop this gorgeous patina. Uh, fourth is the leather is starting to really soften. Five is it fit perfectly under my airline seat with no issues. Uh, reason number six I stayed in it is because it um, has been carrying a little bit like a leisure shopper, which you all know I absolutely love, but it has a little bit... I don't know, a little bit smaller profile, but it still holds all of the things. Um, so I had, um, there was one comment from someone on the first video where it got wet that said that the bag was not Florentine, that it's pebbled leather. It is not pebbled leather, it is Florentine, and Florentine, as we all know, has natural characteristics, and sometimes it's perfectly smooth, sometimes it's got stretch marks, sometimes it's pebbled, sometimes it's wrinkled. It is, in fact, Florentine leather. Um, the other reason that I hate that I am uh, enjoying this bag is because if you recall during the unboxing of this bag, um, this is the bag that had the infamous piece of red tape that I still do not understand why it was on there. But had I not been outside of the 30-day window, I would have likely returned the bag just because that whole tape situation irritated the snot out of me. Um, but now I'm kind of glad that I didn't, and here she is. So, I, she's getting some scratches and dings because I'm using her, but I thought that I would bring her to you yet again tonight so that you could, under the filming lights, see that there are no water spots. She does have this sheen that's starting to develop. She does have a little bit more patina here um, because this part of the bag is always on the outside of my body and I have a tendency to sometimes with you know oils and stuff on my hands and arm to rest here so you can see where that patina is starting to develop. Here is the side of the bag this is what i'm reaching for this is what i want to reach for so there we go here i know i probably have given some of you an absolute coronary that i carried my florentine in the rain but my ball my bags don't boss me i boss them <laughs> so um i knew that i was going to be in rain this past week at least that's what the forecast said um i decided that i wanted to carry the bag yet another week 
it happened to be pouring down rain and instead of you know jumping in the car and immediately heading off I decided that I was going to sit in the parking lot and just film real time what happens when my quarantine gets wet so um if I gave you a heart attack I'm sorry no pressure you don't have to carry yours in inclement weather but as for me and mine we're gonna roll with it because again it's a bag I've never seen a cow with an umbrella um I typically don't see cows you know standing under a tent when it's raining they are outside they are outside and they seemingly dry just fine so um that is the update on tulip i have enjoyed that bag it is starting to develop a slouch now i've thrown some extra things in her um today because i'm just coming back in i think hopefully she still got my water in there yeah i know some of y'all would die over that too but um it's water <laughs> it's water it'll be okay um but it's starting to slouch. It's not as structured. And it's getting to the point where I absolutely love the leather. The other thing that I cannot be sure of is I don't know whether the shoulder straps are stretching out a little bit more, uh, getting a little bit longer because I feel like the shoulder drop is a little bit better. Or if it's because the leather is starting to soften a little bit that I feel like I'm getting a little bit more um, shoulder drop when I'm pairing it. Now, I need to clean this out because I've got uh, rental car receipts. I've got boarding passes. I've got airplane snacks. I've got a little bit of everything in here. But I just wanted you to see she did survive the week. No spots, but you can tell... I am living in her because she is getting dinged and scratched and all of the other things, but she is not spotted. So there is Miss Tulip. I'm at a point now where I wish that I had um, gotten another one. There was recently the uh, natural color that was available on ILD. It seems like as soon as I moved into the red, the natural color one disappeared. So I am on the hunt. I don't think I want it in black because y'all know how I feel about black bags. But I do believe I may want another color tulip shopper. And to get the natural, let it get rained on and suntanned and develop that deep, dark, rich patina, it sounds like heaven. So I'm on the lookout for that. All right, tonight I want to share with you another quarantine bag. This one has not gotten wet yet. Um, let me back up for just a second. There were a couple people that asked if this bag had been treated. It has not, only with rain. It has, that's the only treatment it has gotten. Um, quite honestly, after I unboxed it, the red tape situation, it, it it is what it is, um, but no, it has not been treated, sprayed, conditioned, scotch guarded, none of the things. It is as it was um, packaged and shipped from Dooney, again, minus the scratches that have now come from my use and minus the leather getting a little softer and a little more patina from the oils and the rainwater. So that's where we are with that one. All right. Tonight, I want to share another Florentine bag, and it is also as it shipped from Dooney and Bird, and it is none other than the Florentine Hobo in the color denim. So there is the information. It looks like I um, have number 11 of 28. And right now, I believe this bag is available in red, black, 
slate and red black slate I think that's it I, um, I think that's all of the colors on ILD as well as Dumi I did include um, a link below if you're looking for it this one was on the site and then off of the site really really quick so i hope some of you were able to pick it up i am curious about what this bag is going to hold because i've picked up a few more hobos and while i love my mckenzie hobos um i love my sophie it has been a while since I've actually carried a more structured hobo. You can see that this has some wrinkles. Mm, it looks like it needs some rain water too. <laughs> ah, it looks a little smooth here. And then I got wrinkles on the front. It looks, I would say, decent here on the, ah, now I got some wrinkles across here too. And then on the side where the tassels are, some, it's really soft already there. And then, the bottom actually is probably the most consistent part of the bag. That and then the front flap of the pocket, this part. Everything else is showing more texture. That is really soft. This is definitely a little front. Let's get in the inside. Okay. This is the Florentine Hobo in the color denim. Uh, I think I said number 11 of 28. It does have feet under the bottom. It has a front outside pocket that gussets. This pocket is similar to um, the pocket that's on the front of like my Cambridge collection bags and the Florentine East West Shopper that I recently revealed. Um, if you're looking for that, the Battle of the Totes has um, all of the totes and all of the bags with this pocket um, on it. Again, nothing on the back, so it'll lay flat against my body. And this strap is not adjustable and not detachable. What I do like about this strap is that it is a little bit wider here at the bottom. And it's got some good, thick, chunky hardware. But then it thins out here at the top. As you can see, it's a little wider. It comes in a little bit narrow. And then it does it again, widens again on the other side. I'm hoping that that's going... Oh, look at the mm, shoulder drop. Y'all see that? Doo, 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 doo. No issues. Okay. That might work. I'm not going to complain about it. I was just getting ready to say I'm not sure how that shoulder drop is going to work, but it works out perfectly. And with me having no shoulder, <laughs> no shoulders, I am hoping that this thin strap will kind of hug and mold and then I don't have to worry about keeping it up on my shoulder. Now, the top of this bag, I can already tell, is going to get darker and patina faster. Why? Because it's a hobo, it has a pocket, and it is sitting perfectly where I can rest my arm, which means all of the oils and lotions are going to collect right on the top of this bag. So here's what I mean by that. Like, if I'm holding right across here, all of that is going to catch all of what is on my arm. So just be aware of that depending on what color you pick up. If you're one of those folks like me that have a tendency to hold on to your strap, 
then you're going to see that patina develop a lot quicker again across the front of the bag. All right, color denim. It has a little bit of a, I'm not going to call it red, more of a Bordeaux glazing. And then it has a similar color zipper tape so that it gives you just a little bit of an accent there. So you can see it's not red, it's more of a Bordeaux. And you can tell that the zipper tape is not red either because you can see the red cotton twill lining peeking out there. And you can definitely tell that the zipper tape is darker than the lining. So we have that. Let's see really quick, we have green suede on the back of the tassel. So let's see if there's green suede lining the top of the bag. The tassel is removable or relocatable if that's what you want to do. Um, but it's a nice, um, it's a nice heavy tassel and maybe it's because it's a little heavier because it is detachable as opposed to it being like on the zipper pull or something like that where it's not removable. It's got some weight to it. All right, so let's see how wide the mouth of this bag opens. Let's see here. All right, I've got paper already. So I really, really, um, last week, I planned to move into my red Florentine Hattie. But again, Tulip has been hanging out, waiting for her arm time, as Kimberly Mines always says. So she got a double week of carry. I did pull out a dust cover, so it did come with that. And then here is the interior. So it has the single slip on the front wall and then on the back wall it has a slip and zip i guess if i wanted to i could leave the top of this open but it doesn't quite have a long um a long enough zipper pull here it doesn't have the extender on it enough for this to really the zipper to really lay flat um so i guess that's one thing to note especially if you were planning to almost use it as an open tote or a small tote i don't know a bucket bag the zipper is not going to lay flat because again it doesn't have the extender it's a relatively short zipper and that is also, depending on your carry, that is also, oh, let me try, okay. That's also going to kind of restrict the opening of the bag. Not to mention it is secured on the side. So it's, it, there's only so much that's gonna give. That leather is only gonna relax so much. So it has a pretty narrow opening. Now, I still have Tulip here, and I don't have any other accessories um, out. So I'm just going to see how much of what I carry in my Tulip will actually fit in this Tobo without, you know, me having to, uh, without me having to um, downsize. So I had full-size wallet, so I'm going to drop that in. I had a um, triple zip that I've actually been using for like my receipts, my clipa, hand sanitizer, things like that. I have a small cosmetic case. So that is in here. All right, I was using a kiss lock as my tech for my tech stuff so I'm gonna 
get that in. Um, that's kind of bulging on the back. Let me see if I can reconfigure that just a little bit. Okay. All right. And then I've carried three phones this week. So we've got these three. Let's see if they will fit with no issues in this front pocket. All three phones fit. That's probably uh, a little concerning to some of you. Um, and that's okay. You don't have to shut your pocket out. But in doing that, what I'm seeing is that not only is it gusset, but the sides... See how wrinkly, so it's soft and wrinkly already. If you go look at the East West um, shopper, it's definitely more structured because it fanned. It was like a crisp, smooth fold when I put stuff in that front pocket. So if you're interested to see what that one looked like, again, Battle of the Totes, you can see the sides of that pocket and it's not as bad on this side um but all three are in here it snaps i need all three to be accessible so that's where that's going to be um let's see i need to refill my vitamins and supplements but we're gonna stick that in here I've got some hand lotion. I've got TheraWorks because it works on everything, not just leg cramps, but everything. So I'm gonna see how I can get this in here because I don't have like a pocket pocket. Mm. Well, let's see if that will sit in that corner. Okay, so we got <sighs> my readers. That may work here. Yep, that works. All right. Sunglasses. Let's see. Oh, my headphones are okay. All right. So sunglasses across the top, and then I have my Smile Actives um, tray because. Some kind of way it got out of my luggage, so now it's in my bag until I get it back in my luggage. Um, and that's not going to work. Not even just to lay it across the top because it's not going to zip. Okay, so that's not going to work, but let's see what I did get in. I have three phones in the front pocket. In the interior, I have my sunglasses, cosmetic, a triple zip, uh, my readers, a kiss lock, a full-size wallet. I have a bottle of the TheraWorks. I have a hand lotion back there. And what 
what else? Oh, my vitamin supplements, they're all in here. So let's start with the front, so you can see. Here we go, front pocket. One, two, three phones. Do, do, do. So that's it on the front. And the interior, again, I have a neoprene matte cosmetics, cosmetic case. I have my readers. I have a kiss lock as a tech case. I have full size large zip around wristlet as my wallet. Vitamin supplements. hand lotion, sunglasses in the soft case, triple nylon triple zip, and the bottle of Theraworks. Didn't have my keys. Um, my gum didn't make it. My work badge didn't make it. My mask didn't make it over. Um, yeah, so probably some of the stuff that I need to just clean out from this week anyway, because I got like headphones from the plane and all of that stuff. Got a couple of checks that need to be uh, cashed from my health insurance. Um, but it holds more than I thought that it would hold. But it is not going to hold what the Tulip Shopper holds. So now I think you can see why I stayed in that bag yet another week with no problems because it absolutely held everything and then some. Now this one, um, an office day when I'm staying local, this would work. Um, on a day when I'm just out running errands or maybe just have appointments and I don't have to have like the full everything, this would work for that as well. Um, running out or just because I need something in the color denim. Ooh. Got skin on that side. I wish you could feel the difference in the leather on each side of this pocket. more texture and it is definitely not as thick as this side but again for me this would not be an everyday carry I know for many of you this size bag is probably too large or it's perfect as an everyday carry for you um but not so much for me but I do love the look of this bag I love the fact that it has the outside pocket the shoulder drop seems to be perfect. It sits up a little bit higher, um, so it's not hitting directly at my hip because that's kind of where I typically, you know, so I'd have to hold my wrist in order for it to be in the spot. But I would likely hold it here anyway just because it is a hobo bag. This denim color, I think I now have three, maybe four, four bags in denim. I have the Florentine Hobo. I think I have the Florentine Flap. I have the Large Camden. And I may have the Large Satchel in denim. I don't gravitate towards blues. I know I'm wearing blue today, but y'all see it's got red in it, right? I gravitated to the red. Um, so I don't know 
how often I will reach for this bag, but it was a really, really good deal. Um, and if all else fails, my sister's favorite color is blue, while her favorite color is more of like a French blue. Um, I could definitely see her using this one. And she would beat it up rather nicely, I'm sure. So it's probably a tad bit... It's definitely got a deeper butt than what she's currently carrying. So I gave her my Dots Charleston um, Shopper. So the shop, the Charleston Shopper is the small version of the Leisure Shopper. And the Dots, if you recall, it had like the uh, fuchsias and pinks and purples. And they literally, the back literally had dots on it in those colors with a white background. I purchased shoes to match that bag. I have worn the shoes and broken them in many a summer, but I had yet to reach for that bag. So back um, earlier this year, she was here in Atlanta and I pulled out the bag and I asked her if she wanted it. Um, and she said, sure, I'll use it and carry it for Valentine's Day. So she moved into it the week before Valentine's Day. And here we are past the middle of May. And she is still carrying it and loving it. So I think this bag may be a little bit bigger for her because that dots only has like a four inch butt, which is pretty big for her. But as far as the length, I think it's comparable. The height is pretty similar, especially if you go from here to here. I wouldn't so much count the edges. But I think she could adjust to this one if I decided to not keep it. But the jury is out on whether or not I'm going to pass it on to her or whether I'm going to at least try to use it for a few times before I do that, this is I don't know, maybe there was something I don't know. Maybe she had a calf or something and it rested the whole gestation period on this side. Y'all, I wish you could feel like, seriously, the difference between the leather on this side and this side. But that I, that that is Florentine. It's similar to... um, What's the color? Light mauve or mauve in my Russell. It's like that, but this is thinner. So it's got the same look, right, because of the texture. But it's it feels thinner on this side. I'm not worried about, like, it tearing or ripping or anything like that. But it, it is just noticeably softer. So I've got a work on this side to get it softened up just a little bit because I'm sure that has a lot to do with why that pocket didn't um, sit right back flat as soon as I took the phones out of there. I had to, you know, jimmy it just a little bit because this side is just more malleable than this one. This one has a little bit more structure. So, all right, so that is the Florentine Hobo. So what I want to talk about now is what are you currently carrying? Because I need some inspiration on my next bag carry. And I want to know what you're carrying. So if you would... Drop a comment. I'm trying to get the um, chat pulled up so that I can take a look at. I don't know why it's not pulling up on my iPad. But I want to know 
what you are currently carrying and I may have to put these glasses on since I'm on my phone. Let's see if they're clean. They're recent. Looking like my mama. <laughs> All right. So let's see what you are currently carrying. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Let me see who I have in the chat. I've got the live chat. Happy Sunday. CF says what? Mrs. Q. Deluxe. Drina, hey Chris, happy Sunday, Samurai Robertson, Lucy Lou, Ingrid Scott, Rosalind Ellis, Determined to Be, Clove 007, Bad Crazy, Miss Angie, Carla Longerbeam, um, who else, who else, who else, am I missing anyone, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, alright, so we have Red Alto Arietta. That's a sexy bag. <laughs> For a Sunday afternoon. Uh, we've got Brahmin Stacy, Black Buckley for the week with oh DB 75, 75, 75 accessories. That's that's how you do black. Uh, current carry bag of the month navy from ILD drawstring bucket. I like it. Switched into elephant Florentine satchel. Happy Sunday, Crystal. What bag are you carrying? Ooh, Suz is into Suda. Clove 007 is in her red Florentine pocket cross body. Dimsel, dimples, I think 72. Happy Sunday. Welcome. Glitter Sparkle is carrying her small logo lock satchel in Spearmint. Hey, Mrs. Q, happy Sunday. There was someone, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember. I think it was the first ILD Weekly Cart video that was looking for the Florentine logo lock to go on sale. I don't know what. You, you, you know, everybody's sale price and what, what they're willing to pull the trigger on, that, that cost point or that price point is different. But on Dooney.com, I'm pretty sure that the logo lock is on sale. So if you are watching this video in the chat now or on replay, you may want to just check out um, Dooney.com. All right. So I was trying to get the link in. Let me see if I can get it to pull up i want you to take a trip over let me see if i can get it copy get it please all right i'm about to drop y'all i look like my mama when i'm looking in with my glasses on i look like my mama okay so i'm gonna take them off so i can hardly see myself right now so her staring back is not a good thing for me right now um, where was I? Oh, so I'm about to drop a link in the chat. If you would go over and take a look at it. This is, um, let me just go ahead and send it so, so I can talk about it. All right. This is new from Dooney and Burke. It's actually a partnership with Boldrini and it is the Boldrini Vienna Camila. Y'all know how I feel about Camila. Genoa is sitting up here and uh, she's uh, she's about to move back into rotation. She's got, she, I've got about two, two, maybe three more weeks and I'm going to move into her and carry her during the month of July. But this Boldrini Vienna, oh, in the black, I've, I've gone round and round and round. So first is I thought about getting it in the saddle color, but I really don't need it because I have Genoa um, with the textile and the saddle leather from, you know, this last summer. So I, I don't, if they would compete with each other. So I don't think that that is the way for me to go. Then if you recall, I had a friend that actually gifted me the Camila in the color wheat. While the um, bone was literally the first one that I said, okay, that's the one. When I thought about wheat, it's going to compete with that one. So y'all know what? I'm back at the black. 
I'm at the black. That color combination I think is gorgeous. It's going to be clean and classic. I do wear a ton of black sandals and black shoes during the summer. Or, I mean, really year-round. I'm not necessarily in a black bag, but black shoes, black pants, black skirts and dresses, they have never done me wrong. So I am drifting, <laughs> moving towards putting that one in my car and pulling the trigger because I just don't think that the other colors will work. Now, there are two more Boldrini bags in this Dooney collection. So I wanted to share with you the one that I'm most interested in. But if you would, just go back up to the top and then just do a search for Boldrini and you're going to see that there are two more bag styles that come up. One of them is like the, the little smaller tassel um bag tassel tote like the birthday bag that i ended up sending back but i kept the one in saddle so that one what concerns me on that one is that the if you look at the dimensions the butt of it is a little more narrow and in true alto bodrini fashion it has that center zip which is going to disturb for me me being able to organize the interior of that bag so that one for those of you that would like a smaller carry than, you know, uh, the, uh, Camila, that may be the way to go. Then the other one sits, it, it, it is so, um, you know, it, it, it needs to be on a runway. Um, but it's a little different. Um, it almost is giving me, um, why am I drawing a, a blank vibes? Um, Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm having a brain freeze right now. But anyway, I love the way that it carries. I would probably never, ever use it as a crossbody. I'd probably just completely detach that strap and just carry it by the top handle. But it also has a center zip. So I don't, I, I know that that comes with these bags, some of the styles. But for me, knowing, yes, Raza, it is definitely... Hampton-ish vibes, but I know that Camila works. I know she will work. Now, she's not going to carry everything that Tulip is carrying, but I don't need it to carry everything that Tulip is carrying because I probably will not be traveling with her, at least not by air. And she, that one went to work, but I don't know that this one will, and I would need to see how that um, straw, because it is, it, I think it does say in the description that it's an Italian straw, so I need to see what that's like. I don't know how it will fare, like, under the seat of the plane, or God forbid, I'm in, like, you know, an exit row or something, and I've got to put it up top. I don't know how, so I need to get my, my hands on it first. But the Cam Vienna Camila. Can't go wrong with any of the three colors, but, you know, me trying to apply some kind of logic to my next summer bag purchase, I think I've landed on black. And we'll let the wheat be the wheat and let Genoa stand on her own so that they are not competing with each other. So let me know what you think about those down in the chat. And if you're watching the replay, um, I want to also see who else has dropped their bag in here. So Deluxe is carrying her large Florentine satchel in denim. Happy Sunday, Terry Fields. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Thank you for the well wishes. Uh, Diva 9000 is carrying the Michael Kors cage le leather and linen tote. That is, I think that's Marie, or is it? Is it a new one called Cage, or is this the Marie one, like um, Rosalind? And I think both of us have that one. Uh, Carla is carrying the Fairview satchel in fuchsia, and then uh, so Lucy Lou is filling the Camila in bone um let's see let me see what your what your picks are out of that new boldrini release uh let's see bag of the month oh kelly green that is gorgeous is it kanda 
I'm probably slaughtering that. I apologize. Miss Angie. Um, <laughs> so sick, Crown Royal. <laughs> Diva, I mean, I've traveled with a straw bag. I have um, straw bags. I just need to make sure that I'm comfortable with, with that material. Um, there was a straw bag last summer from Tory Burch. When it came out, I just had to have it. I had to have it. You hear me? I stalked that bag. It was pre-order, which y'all know I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do pre-order. Um, at least I don't do it often or regularly. And then um, it went on sale, but it sold out before I could get to it. I was just crushed. And then one Saturday, I actually ended up at the Tory Burch Boutique. And I'm so glad I went in and saw that bag before I pulled the trigger because I would not have been happy about it. It was the Raffia, um, Raffia Ella. It looked absolutely gorgeous in the pictures online. Not so much in person. I remember sending those pictures to a couple of my tribe sisters and they were like, oh, it looks nice. And I was like, blow it up, like blow the pictures up and look at the details because I can't pull the trigger on it. And I ended up passing on that one. Now, the difference is that entire bag was like straw woven, meant to be traveled with. It was pretty lightweight. Pictures were still gorgeous. It just didn't deliver in person. I don't think that that's going to be the case with this bow brand. I just... I've had way too many good experiences with Alto, with Boldrini, for me to think that this one would not. But I still don't plan to travel with it by plane. By car is a different story. I'll let you know if it ends up on plane. All right. Let me see what else. Um, okay. So I see a few new names in the chat. So everybody, please, please, please welcome all of our new ladies into the tribe. Accessory girl, happy Sunday. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I hope I didn't miss anyone else. Sometimes, even with the glasses on, sometimes I can't see. Judgment free zone. <laughs> Glitter Sparkle again, Terry Fields. Um, please, 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 ladies, welcome um, lady, the, the new ladies into the chat, into the tribe. Make them feel um, welcome. Here's the last thing I want to know. So I think I am three weeks into the weekly ILD cards. I have not done a Dooney card yet. Um... Is that something you're interested in? Is the ILD card the better card? Should I mix and match? Stop doing the videos all together and find something else to do um, from a weekly or bi-weekly standpoint. Um, let me know. I, I did hear um, some comments based on the feedback um, in the comment section, but just let me know because... If you're not watching it and if you're not interested in it, then I won't take the time to make it. So, all right, ladies, thank you so very much. There have been many of you that have been using the affiliate links to shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for that. I appreciate it. I hope that it is um, easy for you based on the items that I'm sharing, that it's easy for you to locate that you're still taking advantage of uh, Rakuten so that you can do that. I appreciate the support. It continues to allow me to buy bags to share it with you so that you can see it up close, personal, inside out, get my thoughts and opinions so that you can determine whether or not that is a bag that you in fact would like to add into your collection. So thank you so very much for all of your support. I do appreciate it. Um, next, week is that next week or this week memorial day is not tomorrow that's next week right keep me straight because y'all i lost a whole day this week i was thinking that friday 
was actually Thursday until I got an alert that said that I needed to check in for my flight. And I still was thinking that it was Thursday. So I have uh, lost all track of time. Um, but Memorial Day week. Let me just kind of give you a heads up so that y'all don't go clicking the unsubscribe button. <laughs> um, so that week I have prepared kind of a mixture of videos. But... Most of them will be beauty related. If you are not interested in those videos, that's fine. Stay tuned. I'll be back. There will be more duty content. Um, but there are a couple of um, beauty related products that I'm sharing. Some that are new. Some that I think you should have, especially... If you're a brown girl and you suffer from hyperpigmentation, um, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I did hit 4,000 subscribers sometime either last night or yesterday morning. So I appreciate you all uh, joining the tribe and helping me get to that milestone. I really do appreciate it. Um, next reminder, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to get so many things out before we hit the one hour mark. Um, that is Dunian Burke is celebrating its birthday. So be on the lookout on both sites for, you know, like the happy hours, for sales, for promos, all of those different things because I don't want you to miss out. I will do my best to continue to post quick videos um, so that you can see and share and quick access links so that you can shop with ease through the affiliate links. Um, but... I'm trying to, I think next week, Sunday, I will probably go live a little bit early next week. Um, and then the following week, I should be back on time, you know, ish, in, in the 6 Eastern-ish time frame. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Y'all know I am a hot mess right now. I'm just trying to hold it together with duct tape and sometimes that, that's not even working. Um, the Florentine Hobo, again, more medium bag carry. I do think that um, for those that enjoy Hobo, um, you will like this bag. It has a good shoulder drop. So whether you've got fluffy arms, um, or not, it's got a really, really good shoulder drop. Um, it's pretty light. Um, did we determine if this bag has going uh, suede? Okay, so no green suede, but it did have green suede on the backs of the tassels, but nothing around the top of the bag. Sorry, I forgot to mentioned that when we were going through the details of the bag but at least wanted you to know that before we head out all right there she is florentine hobo in the color denim this is the regular size there is a small version of this bag i cannot imagine what i would have been able to get in it had i picked up the small so just take a look at the dimensions before you pull the trigger to make sure that you're picking up the size variation that is going to work best for you and your frame. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. Again, thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I hope that you feel welcome and warm and included here because that is the intent. This is a judgment-free zone. We shop, we shop, we shop over here. We share all the details, the codes, the glitches, the promo codes. We, we do all of that stuff here. Um, so if you are looking for a support group to stop your retail therapy, you are in the wrong place. This is an enabler corner, and we are all about making sure that everybody gets their fair share of retail therapy. So if that is what you are here for, you are absolutely in the right place. We are happy to have you. Please, please, please stay active in the chat. Make a new friend. 
um, someone that you can talk to offline, email, DM, all that other good stuff, um, because shopping for bags and accessories is so much more enjoyable when you have a buddy in real life. Thank you so very much for joining everyone. I hope that you have an amazing week. Be safe. Thank you for sharing your carries with me. And again, until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.